All right, y'all, we really back here, man. We got the spears. We're gonna see what we can get, dude. Hey. Walking deep in the forest right now. Look at this falling down tree with all the roots underneath it. Incredible. A lot of markings on the wood indicates that we're going the right direction. All right, y'all, we made it to the to the super secluded private beach and uh, we got the pole spears. We're gonna get in the water and see if we can't spear anything, dude. Afterwards, we're gonna wait for the night bite and get on some giant snapper, y'all. But, Ninja, we gotta be careful, dude. There's bull sharks in here. That's fine, my middle name is Bull. So I know that bull sharks are supposed to be the most aggressive sharks out there. Is that right, dude? Absolutely. So we're gonna have to be super careful. Don't wear anything shiny, and if you're bleeding, get out of the water. So stay tuned, we're gonna get in the water and see if we can't get something on the spear. Dude, I think I'm on. Oh yeah? Bloody hell, Batman. Reel them in, let's Oh go. my goodness. What is that? Dude, you got a snook, bro. Bring him in. Oh. Bring him in, hurry up. Bring him in, bring him in. Oh! oh. oh that's a snook, dude! <laughs> dude, look at that giant snook right there, huh? Oh. That lateral line, dude, I knew it was a snook in that water. No, no ser yeah. seriously, I thought it was a snook. I, I saw the silver and I saw the tail. It was a fat mud cat, dude. What? That's a good sign, though. Good sign. First bite, That's right? That's a good sign. There's a theory out here, guys, and it's light out right now, but 30 minutes after it gets dark is when it really starts to pick up. So oh, yeah. stay tuned. We're about to get tight. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Nice. First fish. I don't think it's a cat. As soon as I put the rod down, y'all, we got tight. Just like we said before, y'all, as soon as it gets dark. Oh, shoot. He's got extra. He's trying to run. What is it? What is it? Oh, okay. oh, oh, another snook. Guys, these snook are just straight and fast in this waterway, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the snook, man. Snook? Another snook, bro. Oh, another don't snook. tell me. Oh, come on. Move somewhere else, why don't you? We're here for real fish. God damn it. <laughs> I see why they call this place Snook Creek, y'all. It's infested with these snook. Yeah, dude. Too uh, bad we don't have our permits or we could take this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely an overslot, too, so we're going to have to revive him. <laughs> put Super him out. overslot. He's definitely an overslot. And we don't have our permits, so we can't tag him, y'all. But we bagged him. We're gonna go here. Oh, 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 oh. Calm hey down, guys, comment snook. down below if you guys would like to see a snook catch and cook. Uh, potentially, we can go out there and get our permits, y'all. Um, uh, there's an abundance of them out here, and yeah, we're at a secret spot, y'all. A lot of snook out here. We just need to know y'all support that y'all support the movement. If y'all want to see it, give the video a like. If we get enough likes, hey, you never know, guys. We might do a catch and cook on some nice snook. Hold on, sis. Big fish on big fish. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! Nice, Ninja, you caught a, a, a grunt, dude. Yo, sis, I just caught my first grunt. That's a big one, too, bro. It's wow. Not, it's a keeper. Oh, yeah, it there's is? no size limit on them. That's a big one. Yes. Yeah, that's the biggest grunt I've ever seen. Oh no my cat. goodness. You, well, listen, 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 ready? Listen. I said, I listen. Just, Shh. A grunt. It makes like What's a. That? It makes. It's a. It's a. Eyes oh, not making no noise. It's a type of fish that makes. Well, he has a super red mouth. Here, That's I'm gonna, crazy. Look, here, I'm gonna show you him. Look right here. Good shot, Ninja. Get him, Ninja. Yo, Ninja's on fire right now, boys. Oh my God. Dude, it's another snook. I'm so dead. I'm not even excited. Oh, this is, you got another fish. Catch. Another fish for the Barbie, my friend. Literally. Another fish for the barbie. Could you imagine? You, it's kind of weird. It's a catfish, but you know what, guys? It kind of looks like a shark. And it kind of fought, fought like a baby shark, huh? Yeah. <laughs> dude, Super ferocious, super crazy. The velocity of this fish is like a shark, dude. It's literally going through the water, um, hunting on anything that it can find. Are we going to release this one, dude? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want this. But it's a snook, man. It's his, uh, it's... 
Hey guys, comment down below if you know the species of this fish. We're having a hard time uh, identifying it. Could be a snook. It could be a redfish, dude. And I'm seeing the blue on it. Could it be a blue fish? It is blue and it is a fish. Okay. It's as good as mine's. All right, guys, comment down below. We're going to go ahead and let this guy go because we're not sure of the species of him. Look at him, dude. He's fighting like a shark. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Guys, first schoolie of the night. First oh. schoolie of the night. Oh. Oh. master on. First schoolie of the night, guys. Look at that. That baby mangrove snapper, guys. That's actually one of the targeted species of tonight's mission. Unfortunately, guys, he's about five inches too short as a keeper. Still really cool, guys. That's a good indication that these fish are gonna start feeding. Ninja set the tone by catching that nice keeper grunt. He caught that, whatever that is right there. Guys, look at that. Look, he caught that. I don't even know what that is. Drop a comment, let us know. But we have just successfully landed our first schoolie. Let's go. Ooh, look at that right there, guys. Another fish, poor man snapper right here, the grunt. Uh, no size limit on this fish, but he's a little bit too sh uh, small for my personal taste. Yep, yep, ET phone home, ET phone home, ET go home. All right, buddy, I'll let you go. Don't tip off your buddies that we're here, all right? Okay, promise, promise. Come again? Hold on, let me get them off and I'll toss them. I'm talking to the group, the grunt action. Oh, okay, oh. Come again? <laughs> All right. Beautiful, guys. Look at the size of the eyes on that fish. He's out here prowling it at night. Um, we do got the big rig. You think we should throw one out? Do we have a uh, live on live bait? All right. Let's see if we have some wire leader. We might throw this guy out for live. Let's let's see. Yeah. We got another grunt, boys. Another grunt. Beautiful colorations, guys. Look at this right here. Look at that gold. It's got uh, turquoise stripes going down it. Big eyes really large mouth you know what the mouth reminds me of a hogfish guys yeah. that's another species that we haven't caught but um this is really awesome guys but he like i said he's a little too small to make a sandwich for my taste so we're gonna send him back let him grow up a little bit bigger hopefully he doesn't tell his friends that we are in the area stay tuned guys guana man's on again y'all nice. looks like we're gonna be doing a grunt catch and cook man yep. have you ever tried one before oh uh, it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while i heard they're tasty though so kind of like a snapper or uh yeah they call it poor man snapper because they taste just like snapper and uh you know if the snapper ain't biting the grunt are biting i mean shoot oh, we'll take what we can get y'all beautiful and yeah. hey, we ain't gonna be picky when we're out in the wild and we're trying to eat you know Not what i'm saying at all. we'll get we'll get anything we can get is a blessing dude Facts. absolutely Facts. anything we can put in the bag and eat and save money it's shoo facts First time ever trying grunt, grunt. First time ever catching grunt, dude. Sex, first time for me. And the colors on it, so, it looked like an aquarium fish, dude. It definitely does. Freshly caught, guys. Not farm raised. No pesticides. Just living in the ocean, thriving, and we're about to be eating it soon. So stay tuned. Look at him. Come here, baby. Let's go. Keep Caper mangrove. Keeper mangrove. Keeper dude. mangrove. That's what I came out here for, baby. In the back. Nice. Look at this, bro. The mangrove snappers always fascinate me because their colors on them are like copper, red, all sorts of like maroon, all sorts of crazy colors on them. And each snapper has its own distinctive look. Absolutely. Gorgeous fish. One of the best eating inshore, offshore. Really fun to catch. The family can get on them and you can have up to 10 of them a day, guys, in your limit. So, Just getting a little taste of what it's going to be like when we're at the Keys, y'all. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're, for safe measures, though, we are going to measure him. I, I believe he's about 10, 11 inches. But always follow the guidelines. Make sure uh, you're sure what you're keeping is legal. You would never want to keep undersized or illegal fish. That's the easiest way to have a bad time when you're in the Keys. Look at this, y'all. As you can see, 12-inch snapper. Haven't pinched the tail or anything. And these only have to be 10 inches, y'all. So he is going in the cooler. Yeah, buddy. Good catch, dude. Thank you, bro. Action. All right, guys. So here's the deal and the purpose of this video. We have a grunt and we have a mangrove snapper. Shout out to the iguana man for putting us on these fish, y'all. But the real question for today, Ninja, is... Is the poor man snapper or the rich man snapper better? Which one tastes better or do yeah. they taste the same or uh, 
pros and cons of each of them, right? Exactly. So we have the mangrove snapper, which is the rich man's fish, and we have the grunt, which is the poor man's snapper. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and give it a try and see what the results are. Right. So I put a piece of. So both of you guys should try the grunt first. Okay. The AKA poor man snapper. There could be some little bones in there, so be careful here. I'll just take a tiny piece as well. Yep. I want to taste it as well. Yep. All right, y'all try it out. Ready? Yep. One, two, two three. three. You did an excellent job on these fish, though. Thank you, bro. Mmm. Not dry. The tin foil definitely holds the juices in, dude. Definitely holds the juices in. Secrets. A secret from Jamaica. Let's, wow. to Jamaica. Let's try the uh, the rich man snapper now, Ninja. Grab a piece. That's one tiny piece. I already ate. I heard you just ate a whole one. Watch that bone. Yeah. Yeah, watch the little bones. Watch that bone. Cheers. Salute. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I can't tell the difference. Honestly, I think the rich man snapper is better. I'm yep. just going to be straight up. Yep. It's more firm. It's uh, more juicy. And it's less fishy, dude. It has a, I think the rich, the rich man snapper has a different taste, just so by a little bit, mm -hmm. not by a lot. But if you're trying to be like nitpicky and you're trying to be real uh, critical on the on taste difference, the rich man snapper has definitely a sweeter taste than the, the grunt. The grunt is still good though; it's not fishy and it's nice and firm and white. But the rich man snapper has the texture going on; it just has a little bit better uh, flavor profile, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think it holds better together in the kitchen. You notice the part that he ripped off was a little bit uh, flaky and here it was just a nice fat chunk, dude. True, true, true. Well, you know what? Here, But here's another uh, stigma too as well. Another thing, another uh, another issue is like, we cooked that one in foil, we cooked this one over the grill. So maybe that might have a difference as well. But guys, uh, drop some comments and let us know what you guys think is a better tasting fish, a grunt fish or a mangrove snapper. But uh, your, your opinion? I'm just gonna be honest, y'all, to the camera. I think the rich man snapper, the mangrove is better. Ninja, your opinion? Um, honestly, they, they taste the same. So it's a tie to you? Yeah, to me, it's just the, the poor man snapper is just, like you said, slide off by like a couple of numbers, centimeters, whatever you want to call yeah. it. But it, the, the snapper is just a little bit more rich. I mean, you can really taste it. And it also could be because that all the juices were still in there as it was cooking. So all that was just yeah, know, recycling yeah. into the fish from yeah. repeating. Yep, yep. So, well, this was open, so, you know, had air and hot. So, both of them are delicious, though. Yeah, they both were fire, but like I said, this one's up by like 10. This is at like Seven. eight and a half. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, but they're both still good, though. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this crab. Can you get some of this crab on me, bro? Please, dude. You want some, too? Just want to try a piece. Oh, yeah, that's y'all. Y'all go ahead with that. Hold that. Hold it. Hold it. There you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. Was it good? Sweet. Ooh! Hold on, let me. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, so soft. Mmm. It's like butter. Sweet. We caught those in the mangroves, too, so you guys know that the blue crabs out there, they eat a lot of the, the, the uh, decomposing vegetation. Which is nasty to us, but to them, it's really good and it makes their meat really sweet, guys. Oh, yeah. Sweet mangrove crab right there. Oh, yeah. How would you rate the crab now? <laughs> Crab's at a 12. 12 out of 10? Mm -hmm. Bryce mm. is eating everything on it. Ah. <laughs> delicious, delicious. Guys, like we said, drop some comments. Let us know what you guys think, what you guys like better. Huge shout out to everybody watching the video, everybody that uh, participated. And, uh, we're gonna finish up, guys. I guess we'll see you guys very soon. We're going to the Keys. Woo! Would the snapper be like these? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned.